They said good riddance, sayonara, it's been long enough, be gone. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. I'll tell you guys a little about them later on in the video. But uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, just one of the smallest little stacks of boxy charms we've done recently on the channel. <laughs> yeah, there's only two here today and that's because, uh, guess who got kicked off the PR list? <laughs> It's me! So, recently I have seen a couple of videos of people talking about potentially being removed from the BoxyCharm PR list, and um, I think that I have also been one of those people that has been potentially removed. <laughs> I don't know if BoxyCharm might be like potentially a tiny bit angry about some of the videos I've been posting recently, or perhaps they sent me some email explaining the situation, but I don't read emails too good because I don't look at them very often. So that could be floating out there somewhere, but whatever the circumstance, I am no longer, I believe, on the PR list. Just totally fine getting PR. I know it's an absolute privilege and I feel so very lucky to have received it for so long, but it does mean that the box chair unboxings are probably going to be a little bit smaller now and we can't do a couple of different unboxings like the PR versus paid for. That is fine. We still have thousands. That sounds like hyperbole, but it might not be. Oh, we still have a lot of boxy charms, like in the boxy charm closet, and I still will be paying for the ones that I pay for and receiving them monthly. Now, I do have like a tiny touch of a rant that I would like to potentially go into like at the end of this video. I'll save that for the end. And it does relate potentially very likely to why I have been kicked off the PR list, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. It's just like a tiny little rant. So that'll be at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and get on into the April boxes that we have right here. So I should have one base box and then I should have one box that is bigger. It is either the premium or the luxe. I never know which one. Let's go ahead and start off here with the standard box. We'll open up the penguin puff and two can knife. All right, and the very first thing I am pulling out here is a little set of brushes. Oh, these are from Luxie. These are so cute. I personally really like Luxie brushes. They are one of my favorite brushes to use. It could potentially be because I have received so many of them in subscription boxes. I don't really have any other brushes to use, um, but I, I do like them. There's a little plastic thing preventing my entrance into this bag. You never know when you need to break out the clippers. These brushes are a collaboration between Luxie and is this like a hotel name or something? Dottens? I've I've never seen that name before in my entire life, but there's a cute little hotel on there. So maybe it's like a hotel chain? That doesn't make any sense. That's a P? I mean, I've never seen a more D looking P than that in my entire life, but apparently it's actually paw tips. Uh, I'm assuming now it's, it's not a collaboration with a hotel chain. You know, I don't think Luxie and like Best Western are like getting together to make a brush set. So whatever kind of collaboration this is, I actually think these brushes are really cute. I like the two-tone with the white and the orange. It's very summery. Uh, the brushes themselves look nice, but I am always excited to have more brushes and I think this set is really, really cute. This is a hyaluronic acid rejuvenating serum. For being like a skincare item, this honestly has very few ingredients in it, which I guess, I guess that's good, right? You know, like what they say with food, like if you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't eat it. To be honest, I can't read or pronounce 75% of these words, but you know, it's skincare. You're not supposed to eat it anyway. Anyway, so it's probably good that it is like a pared down ingredient list. It's supposed to be great for all skin types and ages. It's supposed to leave your skin feeling hydrated and supple to the, <laughs> to the touch. With highly concentrated hyaluronic acid, it's supposed to keep your skin moisturized throughout the day, leaving it appearing more dewy, plump, and youthful. Wow. Ooh, something about this looks very just like, I don't know, classy. <laughs> it's just a nice, simple, clear glass bottle, but everything's like very like sleek and nice looking, very minimal. It's got, you know, one of the little like tops. Oh, the little dropper's also glass. That's very classy. <laughs> I don't know what I was anticipating that to smell like, but it wasn't that. I do not enjoy the scent of whatever that is, uh, but you know, it's just a skincare thing. It's not like a perfume. But I am actually pretty excited to give that a try. I just ran out of, you know, my like $14 CeraVe Walmart hyaluronic stuff. So I think I'll go ahead and replace that that's now on the ground for some reason. I've had an energy drink this morning. It says it's an inferno thermogenic and I don't know what that means, but it makes me feel like ready. Anyway, this will probably take the place of the hyaluronic acid serum that I just ran out of. Next, it looks like we have another little skincare product in here. This is from Georgette Klinger, which I just feel like Georgette is just such like a high class name. Like George, she sounds like she owns horses, like a good amount of horses. Maybe that's just like a Kentucky thing, but if you have like enough land and barn space for like a lot of horses, you know, your barn's probably millions of dollars and heated and nicer than my house, so I feel <laughs> 
feel like you just gotta be like named Georgette and wear those tall boots and stretchy pants. This is a vitamin C mask that is supposed to restore youthful tone and texture and do like a lot of stuff. There's like a whole list of things. Um, it's supposed to do a lot of nice things for your skin. So it's just a little pump and this is a mask that you put on and I guess you wash off after 10-15 minutes. All right, you guys, really quickly before we move on, I would love to tell you about today's sponsor, Helix. Like most people, sleep is very important to me, whether it's like a long good night's sleep or a quick nap. I personally, I just, I love sleeping and I love sleeping on my Helix mattress. I've had my Helix mattress for over a year now and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up every morning very stiff and sore, but since switching to my Helix mattress, I don't have that problem anymore. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Helix knows that everyone is different and to ensure that you get the mattress that is best for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who loves a soft cloud-like mattress. I also share my mattress. So the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux and I think it is the perfect choice. Like I said, I've had my Helix for over a year now and I'm loving the sleep that I get. It is soft but also supportive in all the right places. I don't wake up with my hips and my shoulders killing me anymore, which has improved my overall day. With your Helix Sleep mattress, you also get a 100 night sleep trial. If you don't like it, they will come pick it up for you and you get a full refund. You also get a 10 year warranty and there are financing options and also flexible payment plans. And the best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress straight to your door for free within the United States. It comes rolled up inside of a box and it is super easy to set up. I set up my king size mattress all by myself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. So if you would like to try Helix, click the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash Alexandria for up to $200 off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. And just thank you so very much to Helix for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel. Oh, this one's kind of fun. Okay, so the next thing in here is from Lucky Chick. This is a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Rose Quartz. I do like a liquid eyeshadow, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay, it's a little bit on like the pink frosty side for me. I was really hoping for more of like a shimmer instead of a frost. That's just my personal preference for eyeshadows, but I mean, it's really pretty. Stop smelling it. If you don't like it, stop, stop smelling it. Typically with liquid eyeshadows, I feel like we see a lot of doe foots, but this actually looks like a tiny little brush. It's not. It's hard. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's hard. Oh, it's just like a little spatula. I don't know how I feel about the spatula as like an actual application tool. It just kind of like moves the product around instead of like really evenly applying it. It is really pretty. Again, it has like kind of frosty look to it. Maybe it wouldn't be my first choice for liquid eyeshadow, but I can already feel it drying down on my hands, so hopefully it stays put. And then finally, the last thing in here, we have something from Beauty Break Break Beauty Bakery. This is the Sour You Doing um, eyeshadow palette. I can't get my fingers into here. They have too many little coats of fingernail polish on and they're still sticky. I think this is a pretty cute summertime palette. So we have like little lemon wedges on the front. Then on the inside, there is a fairly large mirror here with like a pink backing with <laughs> more lemon wedges. And then the shadows themselves are very cute as well. This is a very warm tone palette, but I personally love warm tone shades. They're my favorite. So we have names like Icy, Sour, I'm sorry, I'm reading them upside down and that's a bad idea. Cocktails and just a lot of like summertime drinks. I get, well, it's not, it's not summertime, is it? It snowed like a couple days ago where I live, but I guess they're getting you just like in the mood for summertime. This doesn't really read like a springtime palette to me. This to me is definitely summer, but um, it's pretty cute. All right, let's go ahead and move on into this uh, big boy here and see what it is for this month. It's either premium or luxe. I don't know when either of them come. I can't keep track of that kind of thing. I standardly don't know what's going on in my everyday life. There's no way I can keep track of a box that just shows up every now and then. Actually, there probably is, and I probably should. I'm just very bad at it. Ah, okay, so it looks like this month we have a premium. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. It should be the same little thing. Oh no, the prices. See what I mean about the keeping track kind of thing? Okay, so let's go through some prices really quickly here. We have the Beauty Bakery Sour You Doing palette, which is $38. The Georgette Clinger Vitamin C Mask is $36. The Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum is $45. The Luxy brushes are $40 bucks for those three brushes. It says Luxy slash poor la noche. Where did that come from? This either said dotits or paw tips. Highly confused by this brush. It is too early in the morning to be like decoding things. Um, but anyway, the Lucky Chick liquid eyeshadow is 22. Again, I think a little bit maybe expensive for this. All right, so the total retail value for the base box for this month is, uh, I already forgot, $181. And I think that is a fairly good value for what you pay for the box. Um, I do think BoxyCharm is nearly like 30 bucks now. It's definitely gone up in price. But a $181 value is pretty decent for what we see for BoxyCharm. A lot of times it'll be like, 
around like maybe the 120 to like 150 so that is a little bit on the high side and um yeah i thought that i thought that things were pretty good okay now we can go ahead and move on into the premium box i will set this to the side and i will try not to forget the prices this time paper Paper. The first item in here looks kind of interesting. This is a My Beauty brand X by Me. Is that like a collaboration between two brands that have very similar type names? Or I, I don't really know what that is, but this is from My Beauty brand and it is ah a waterproof black liner. Very exciting. I do like the packaging of this. Very simple and minimal. It says that it has a felt tip, which typically is not my favorite type of applicator for eyeliner. I prefer like the little like brushy tips. Ooh, that's a nice line though. I don't know why I'm over here doodling, but um, this is the liner swatch in the back of the hand and it is actually a very intense black liner. It does look like it would have a bit of a sheen to it. I prefer a more like matte liner, but um, it's very, very black and pigmented. Went on super smooth and it's also not absorbing into like the little like wrinkly bits on the back of my hand. Ooh, and she's not smudging anywhere. Look at that. Would you look at that? Yeah, she's staying on there pretty good. I have mainly switched over to wearing just brown eyeliner, which you know, like 2007 me is crying just a little bit inside as I always was because, you know, I'm <laughs> emo. But I still have my wings. They're just slightly smaller and less black and dark and intense. But this does seem like a really nice liner, so I probably will give this a try on days when I do want to wear, like, a deeper liner. The uh, next... Oh, Dr. Brandt. Fun. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Dr. Brandt. I do like this brand. And this is an eye cream for wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness, so that's very exciting. I do really like eye creams. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of skincare in this box here. The next thing we have is from Herbivore, and we we have received this item before. It was either in an Ipsy or Boxy Charm. The two are really melding into one now. We have definitely seen this before in one of the boxes. It is Bakuchiol. Bakuchiol. It is a retinol alternative. So if you can't use retinol for some reason, this could potentially be an alternative to it. I don't know if it would have the same effectiveness because retinol is pretty intense, but um, Maybe it does. It's just a pretty little bottle of purple serum, again, with the nub there at the top. It doesn't really have a super strong scent to it, but there is just the tiniest little hint of, um... Okay, so First Aid Beauty also kind of has just, like, the tiniest little scent of, like, it's, like, stomach acid. Just the smallest hint of throw-up scent. Not everything from First Aid Beauty has this, but I can detect, like, that just a little bit of acidic scent that doesn't smell too great. All right, so the next item we have in here is from Mitchell and Peach, and I just <laughs> I think that's a really cute name. I love peaches, and I think, I like, naming somebody Peach would be very cute. That either says flowers or growers, but I don't, I, I honestly don't know. Um, English leaf body oil. This is very nice packaging. I like the texture of this silver box with like that almost like gold leaf writing on it. However, I will say that a lot of it is very off center and that's the only thing I can focus on. This also looks kind of like a high class item. It honestly looks a little bit like a fancy perfume, but this is a body oil. It does smell like leaves. Yeah. <laughs> It smells like leaves. <laughs> There's a slight hint of like a floralness to it, but it just smells kind of like a like a spring garden. It smells really nice. I literally was just about to hand it to you guys, but here, whiff it in. All right, the next item we have in here is from Indota Organics. Again, a lot of brands I have never heard of before in this box. This is a hydrating lip balm with calendula, vitamin E, and peppermint oil. This is the packaging. <laughs> Really loving the color of it. It's kind of like a sea foamy green color. It smells nice. There's a little bit of that like peppermint hint to it. I'll go ahead and just put some of this on. I could definitely use some hydration on my lips. Oh my heavens. That was a whole lot. That was way too much. Okay, that does feel nice on the lips. It is just kind of like a clear balm, but it does add some like glossiness to the lip. It also tastes a little bit like those peppermints that you get at the Chinese buffet. Like the, you know, when you leave, they got like a bowl of them. They're like those cream buttery mints that dissolve in your mouth. And I don't know why I'm assuming all Chinese buffets have those. I'm like taking my personal experience of my personal favorite Chinese buffet and just applying it to all of them. And it just has like a tiny bit of that kind of buttery peppery mint taste to it. All right, you guys. And finally, last but not least, we have a little box here, which is like, oh, no, this is exciting. We have a Cupid Cheek Duo with a cream blush and a highlighter in it. Ooh, very shiny and pink. These are very pretty colors. However, I'm going to assume that this blush here is just going to be a little bit on the deep side for me. But perhaps because it is a cream blush, it wouldn't be like super, super pigmented. I personally never really use cream products, especially cream blushes and stuff, because I feel like it always just like takes off everything that's underneath it. <laughs> this is a very pretty highlight though. It's like a little bit of like a champagne -y gold, like tiny bit of like a pinkish tone to it. And it's nice that this is Natasha Denona. I'm sure it is a very expensive little duo here for the cheeks because everything Natasha Denona is, is pretty expensive, at least in my opinion. We get you guys some prices really quickly for this box. I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty 
pretty expensive box because like a lot of the skincare things look pretty fancy. And we got a Natasha Miller product, so uh, let's go ahead and see. So the Cupid Cheek Duo is $42, so it is a little bit pricey. The Herbivore um, Alternate Retinol thing is $54. The Dr. Brandt Eye Cream, that little tiny tube of it, which wasn't very full, is $82. The Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil is $68. I thought that was going to be expensive. The Liquid Eyeliner is $20, and then the Lip Balm is $25, which I also think is very expensive for lip balm. The total retail value for this box came to $291, which again, I think is pretty good. That's actually like $110 more than our base box. A lot of the items in this box were skincare, but they were different types of skincare, like the body oil. I mean, we get eye creams a lot, but that was a really nice one. It was a little bit different, and I really like this box. I thought it was pretty good, but uh, of course, I'd love to hear your all's thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you guys thought about either of these boxes. Did you like them? Did you not? Did you think they were a good value? Just any of your thoughts and opinions, you can leave this down below in the comments. All right, you guys, so really quick before the video ends, I did want to go ahead and tell you guys one of the reasons I think that BoxyCharm finally took me off their PR list. They said, good riddance, sayonara, it's been long enough, be gone. And that's fine. That is totally fine. So I've been receiving BoxyCharm PR for quite a long time. And again, I am so thankful and grateful. It has been a privilege to receive and I am very thankful for it. But I think maybe the reason that me and a lot of other creators are finally being taken off the PR list is because the way that they started handling PR, like, was it? It wasn't really PR anymore and it's not how brands typically handle PR. So I've been receiving PR for a while. I was making videos and then one day I got an email basically telling me like exactly how I had to do my BoxyCharm unboxing, which was very new. That was something that they hadn't done before. So in the email it was like, okay, so when you get your box, uh, you're going to open it. You're going to do this particular makeup look. Uh, if you're going to use music, here's the music that you can use. Basically, like, here are the things that you should say about it. This is the day that you have to post all these kind of things. So it was, like, very regimented, like, how I'm supposed to do the PR unboxing. And I thought that was really strange because that was, like, what sponsorship requirements were. And honestly, that's even more requirements than most sponsorships have. So I was confused by this email, so I emailed them back and I was like, oh, is this, like, a, like a sponsorship request? Like, what is this? And they said, no, this is just what we require now for you to get PR, which I thought was, <laughs> I thought it was interesting, uh, just because PR typically is like a brand sending you something just in hopes that you might talk about it or mention it. And again, I'm so thankful and privileged to have received PR, but like that's a lot of requests for a full video for a very regimented type video. And also I felt like I wouldn't be able to be very open and honest about like how I felt about my boxy charm. And then on out, I just expected to not receive the PR anymore because I wanted to be able to have the freedom to say and do what I wanted with my boxy charm. So I was already purchasing boxy charm on my own. And I was like, I'll just unbox my own box. You know, if we want to do a makeup look, that's fine. If I can't do one that day, that's fine. Also, if I don't like the box, I can say that I don't like the box. If I do like the box, I can also express that. But then deciding like randomly that they were going to require all these things for you to be able to get like PR. I just didn't do that and I just assumed that the PR would eventually stop coming. Uh, but it did continue to come for quite some time. So, so I'm assuming they finally just like got tired of me. You, that, and that's that again, perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. But I just wanted to say like those kind of like requirements typically come with like some type of contract, like you and the company together have agreed upon these things. And like, it's not just requirements like forced upon you to be able to talk about or receive PR. Um, so if BoxyCharm is wondering why like probably a lot of people didn't meet those requirements. I, I think that's probably why, but I also think that's probably one of the reasons why I stopped receiving PR. And that's, again, totally fine. Uh, because I would prefer to be able to have, like, the freedom to do what I want with my box that I purchased on my own, the freedom to say what I want, the freedom to do my own makeup look, that kind of thing. So I do understand why I've been taking on PR, and we will just continue on for now just doing the boxes that I have purchased on my own. If you guys still like to see, like, multiple boxy charms unboxed in one video, I don't care at all to make more accounts. <laughs> we can go ahead and get different boxes and see if we can get different variations. But I just, I really want you guys to know I'm truly not upset about being kicked off the PR list. It's it's absolutely fine and I do understand because I was not meeting the requirements. But anyway, that was my little like rant. It wasn't really a rant. Uh, my little discussion about BoxyCharm PR there and why I was kicked off the list. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind it in the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.